So the first thing we're going to do, Troy, is we're going to climb up to about 1,000, 1,500 feet. Got it. Side by side, like really close. And then we're both going to let off the engines and go to idle. Got it. And we're going to glide and see which one sinks faster than the other and see if one's faster than the other. Okay, so the one that sinks faster, that means it has it doesn't produce enough, as much lift? Correct. It's okay. not as efficient. Okay. So that's a big that's a big difference. As okay. well as if one's faster and glides better, that's a huge win. Okay. Like the Dominator utterly destroyed the Black Hawk uh, Paratoy's wing, their uh, edge. Um, okay, so once we do that test, then I want you to get behind me and I'm gonna climb up over the lake and I'm gonna run it through collapse testing. You don't want to be too close. You want to be back just a bit of ways and a bit above me because when I collapse, I might flip a 180. Okay. So just be ready for that. So just Got stay it. behind me and look right at me and try and get video of the collapse testing. Got it. Okay, Troy is definitely faster than I am on the Dominator. And he's 165. I'm about 185. So 20 pound weight difference. So. I would have expected this ladder to be slower so far. That seems accurate. Kind of flops around a little bit. That is kind of a little weird because the cells aren't stabilized. It does kind of flop and flap around. Not that that's a big deal, but. Okay. He started lower than me. But he is way faster than I am. Wow, that's really hard to tell with him that far away. He is still way faster than I am. And I am sinking. Let's see. It's pretty close. He is way ahead of me, though. It's a little closer. Yeah, the Dominator's definitely, I mean, it's way faster and way more efficient because we're sinking at about the same rate, but because he's so much faster than I am, it's, it's utter destruction on the efficiency, which I would expect because that's what I found with other hybrids or one-sided gliders, single-sided gliders, is that they're not very efficient. So the Dominator just utterly laid waste to it. Okay. That's utter destruction when you're that much faster and at the same time gliding or sinking the same rate but covering a lot more distance. It's a huge, huge difference. If you can see a difference that quickly, it is a gigantic difference. Normally it would take thousands of feet of altitude to be able to see an actual difference. So huge win to the Dominator. Okay, now we're gonna test the safety. Okay, now let's test something almost nobody ever tests. Is that roll stability. I saw in their video they were trying to claim roll stability. So let's see how she works. So oscillation should cancel automatically. And did a great job. Yep, canceled immediately. Let's try that again. Oscillation immediately. That actually did a nice job. And okay, here we go. Climb up a little bit higher. Okay, here we go. And it still has not opened. Whoa, that is a flunk.
that's not good. Wow, that was ugly. What the heck? This is supposed to be an ENB certified glider. That was really bad. It should have opened instantly like the Dominator without turning more than 180 degrees, I guess, what you get for ENB. So maybe it passed ENB, but even still, there's a huge difference in safety. Let's try that again. Maybe that was a fluke here. And I am locked in a spiral, heading face down, and it flunked. That is a safety flunk right there. That is not good. Dang it. I've been hoping one of these single cells would come out and actually have some performance because I like the idea because they are very lightweight. Okay, let's try that again. And same dang result. Just takes forever to open. That's kind of retarded. All right. Go for full frontal. I would hope it would pass the full frontal. And no problem. Come on, whoa, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap, that was a flunk. I just lost like 200 feet of altitude. That was a fail. Are you freaking kidding me? It locked into the collapse? That is not good. Wow, that, that sucked. That was not good at all. Let's try that again. And weight shift. I can weight shift okay, that's good. Sometimes gliders don't let you weight shift very well. This one actually does a pretty good job on the, uh, the torque steer control. A lot of gliders do not. This one's not too shabby. I know they were bragging about that, and that is actually pretty good. Okay, here we go. Full frontal collapse. And it opens. but again, it kind of staged the opening. That's not good. And remember, this is trimmed down. This is in its safest configuration. Whoa, huge drop in altitude and takes forever to open, okay. Again, it, that's a flunk for me. That's just no freaking way because if you're low to the ground, that's the key. The fun thing about paramotoring is flying low and just cooking around. And if you drop 100 feet to recover from a collapse, you're going to pound into the ground. So, okay, now for, I suspect, a nightmare ride. This might get really crazy here. And here we go. 
asymmetric. And still stuck. Still stuck. Holy crap, full 360 spiral at the ground. Total freaking flunk. That's a Super Dell flunking. So we got about a 180, which is horrible. That could kill you, but a 360? Are you freaking kidding me? Let's try that again. I mean, the little, literally the 5XS Dominator is faster than that. The 5X at 14 square meters. Okay, let's try it again. What the heck? Now the riser is all tangled. That ain't good. Okay, big asymmetric and locked in a spiral and gaining speed. Total failure. That literally pointed me straight down. Not freaking acceptable. Total complete fail. And it takes forever to freaking reopen. Okay, one more. And locked into a spiral. I am face down. I am accelerating. Exit. That's dead. That's dead. If I'd have hit in that spiral, I would have died. Even with a, I mean, you're hitting face down at probably 70 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. That's dead. So you don't want that. You want a glider that recovers instantly, both trims up and trims down. And that's one of the huge, I mean, that's the biggest reason we fly Dominators is that safety even accelerated and at any size of glider doesn't care the only weird thing i found in the dominator is on the 5xs the full frontal takes a little bit longer to open but not this long this this takes much longer than the 5xs did in the full frontal okay now we're going to do a full frontal collapse trims up Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was better than trim sand. <laughs> what kind of stupid is that? I mean, you lost a lot of altitude. It didn't snap out instantly, but it opened faster than it did with the trims down which is its safest configuration. Now we got a tangle on the riser again. That's really irritating. That's not acceptable. Tangle, you do weird freaking things with the risers. Okay, here we go. Whoa, violent, whoa. That was violent. Okay, let's try that again. The riser's totally freaking butt wild tangled. This is asinine right there. That's not acceptable at all to be getting tangles and we just barely started. Holy fudge, holy fudge. I'm dropping like a brick. I am dropping like a brick. I am gonna reach for brakes if I lose. Okay, total freaking flunk from hell. That is a no-go. I just lost, what, 150 feet? Dropping like a brick? Not good. Those little holders are kind of neat. I don't know if I trust those. But... 
Okay, it's doing different things. That's, that's really crazy because it's inconsistent. But the Dominator does exactly the same thing every single time. Whap, 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 whap. Open, 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 open. You could do it a hundred times in a row and it doesn't change by two tenths of a second. Where this is getting really weird results. Stuck, stuck, putting me in a spiral, just turned, still not open and open. Okay, that's a flunk. Okay. So, slower than the Dominator. That's expected. The Dominator's the fastest glider on the planet. Less efficient. That's expected. Uh, but the lack of safety, that really surprises me. I didn't expect the lack of safety to be that bad in the hybrid. Because the last one I tested was actually quite safe. It just totally sucked on performance. The, uh, that's pretty crazy. Man, that's, that's too bad because this is a, it's a cool idea. I'd love to see someone really nail this because weight is weight. I am a major weight weenie. And if you lose, you know, back underside of your glider, you just shaved off a pound or so, a couple pounds. And so weight savings is huge. That's a cool deal. But it's got to be safe and you got to get the performance and all of the pieces. It's about having an overall package. You got to get all the pieces. The Dominator's not the best because of any one of its characteristics because it handles awesome and it outhandles gliders like the Thriller, but other gliders like the Morpheus handle maybe just a little bit better. But the fact that it handles close to an acro glider and is still the safest glider on the market, that's why it's so incredible. And because it glides, and it is extremely stable, and it's stupid easy to launch, and because it's ridiculously lightweight. So you got all the characteristics, but the, uh, I was actually hoping this glider would work, but I guess not.